On the east side, volunteers are removing 200,000 pounds of historic brick by hand. Yeah, so those bricks will be used to help fix and preserve Virginia Park Street in Detroit, one of the city's last brick paved roads. Megan Woods has a look at the hard work behind the project and why it's so important. Here on Virginia Park Street, there hasn't been repairs in the last 115 years, and you can tell. Take a look at this. Bricks worn down, some missing altogether, and it's not great to drive on. Well, the neighbors have found a way to fix it while still preserving that historic touch. These aren't just 1904 made pavers. This is our history. It's all history from where they came, who set them. Removing 200,000 pounds of them isn't easy. This is hard work, <laughs> and I'm glad the sun has gone down. It's required for ITC Holdings and DT Energy's new substation on Detroit's east side. And conveniently enough, it matches the same brick here on Virginia Park Street. Then someone in the neighborhood came up with an idea. She said they might be, DT and ITC might be willing to uh, to donate the bricks to us and give us a chance to take these bricks rather than just uh, put them in the landfill. So Virginia Park neighbors and volunteers are doing the heavy lifting. I think it's quicker for me to throw them out and then stack them on the pallet. But it's with a purpose. Uh, there's three streets of Virginia Park between Woodward and the Lodge Freeway. And we're hoping to re-brick those streets and reuse these to replace the broken ones. Because they understand a brick paved road says a lot about a neighborhood. I think it gives it a lot of character. And Virginia Park Street has a lot of it. The uh, block I live on, it was bricked in 1894, which is two years before Henry Ford was driving his automobile on the streets of Detroit. It was designed for wagons and bicycles. They say it just needs saving. All the houses on the street are very well maintained, and to keep the current preservation of the brick, I think it would keep the character. Neighbors say re-bricking this street could cost an estimated $2 million, but they're hoping they could get a state grant to cover that. In Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.